So there really is antimatter. It is real. Okay. It is real. And what is it against? Why is it against matter so much? Yeah, you know, antimatter, once we came to understand the behavior of particles, then their fields in which they operate and they move, their forces. And if you took a step back and looked at them, there was a prediction that it enabled. It said, this allows there to be a particle, such as the electron, but moving backwards through time. And then you say, well, that's weird. That is weird. What, what does that mean? And so it took some smart heads to come to it and they say, well, maybe it's not an ordinary particle moving backwards in time. It is an extraordinary particle moving forwards in time. Thus was born the concept of antimatter. So antimatter would be a particle where the quantum properties are the opposite of what they are for matter. Okay. So an antimatter, so what's the charge on an electron? Negative. Negative. The charge on the antimatter version would be positive. So rather than calling it an anti-electron, which you can, you're okay. allowed to. Right. You're allowed to. That we makes came sense. up with a word for it. What? Positron. A positron. That's where you get positron. Keep it a positive. Keep it a positive. So what we learned is that if you take an antimatter and matter particle and you bring them together, mm -hmm. they annihilate. So mm, what? I'm 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 weirded out by that because isn't there like conservation of energy? Yes. Okay. Well, no. Conservation of mass mass energy. energy. Right. Yeah. 